to support effective revision in food and nutrition. The exam is one hour and 45 minutes long. It is out of 100 marks. 20 marks are multiple choice questions. The topics that will be covered in the exams are nutrition and health, food science, food safety, food choice, and food provenance. For nutrition and health, students are required to know the five nutrients and where to find those five nutrients within the food, the ingredients, and what those five nutrients, what the functions are of those five nutrients in the body. For health, students must know the different specific aspects within the life stages and the excess and deficiency of each of the nutrients. For food science, students must know the um, behind the scenes of ingredients such as protein, fats and carbohydrates. So how do protein react when heated, when maybe whisked or agitated, or maybe, maybe when there's a marinade put onto meat? How fats react when heated, or how carbohydrates react when heated? For food choice, students must know the different variables of how people make choices, whether it's food marketing, whether it's ethical, religious reason, cultural reasons, or whether it's personal reasons. And for food provenance, students must understand where the food is coming from, whether it's caught or reared. They must know about intensive farming, organic farming, and how foods are made, such as how is milk processed, cheese processed, and bread processed. For the multiple choice questions, I suggest to use Seneca to practice multiple choice questions or to go into the student book that has also got quizzes available on the student version that comes like a little queue. Students can click on this and there's little quizzes students can test themselves. The, web is, the website for the book is uh, available on this PowerPoint or it's all students have written this down it's also available on the school website. Username and password have been shared with students. For the higher mark question, which means kind of apply, define, or analyze, students maybe should try to find the past papers on the AQA specific food website, or use the past papers we share with students in class. Students must apply the nutritional knowledge to a label and explain whether this label or this food is healthy or not healthy, and give a reason for their, for their choices. For this, I suggest maybe discussing nutrition at home by just simply discussing what is in the food, what have we cooked, how can we make this different, how does it benefit our health.